Code K's. Ready for the streets. You ain't heard this one yet. Tell the DJ play this. Street hits. Back out of your fist. We, 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 we up now. We, 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 we up now. They say patience is a virtue. But nothing come to a sleeper but a motherfucking dream. Yeah, yeah. I want y'all to understand, um, like this my life, nigga. Let it be your life. Cause every day I leave the house, nigga, I push my old lady closer to another man, push my son closer to a stepdaddy, nigga. So I'm out here for greatness, you feel me? So if you ain't here for greatness, nigga, I ain't fucking with you. Y'all know my track record, nigga. I break all the niggas that's doing the real shit. My nigga Sha Glizzy, Two Shante, Young Dolph, Gotti, all the niggas I fuck with. Y'all know my track record, man. I'm an OG. I love DJs more than anybody in the world because DJ is the only one ever gave me a hit. Artists don't give me no hit because every one of them say they got a hit. But when a DJ call you and say, nigga, you playing that shit? Then you know that's a hit. So I respect DJs because that's the stable I came from. I hate rappers, but I love artists. If you're the artist, I love you. I speak about hate, but I'm a hater. I hate trifling ass nigga, nigga with no work ethics. I hate them. You feel me? A lot of artists come up with a single, put it on the internet, get a little radio play, and that's it. Let me tell you something about DJs. If you don't go to this city and meet and shake these DJ hands when you single war out, don't nobody know you no more because you have no foundation. Fucking with the DJ is your foundation, my nigga. If you don't shake these, because these are niggas that play your music. I don't give a damn how hot you is. If 5% of DJs in the world ain't playing your record, you won't be hot for long. You feel me? So I just want y'all to show the DJs respect. All the artists in here that blame DJs for your downfall, go in the mirror and play. Yourself. Cause I'm a DJ, I've been doing this for 27 years, my nigga. And all the artists in Cleveland, if a DJ posts his fly to his party and you can't repost it or like it, he don't need to be fucking with you. Yeah. Cause you ain't fucking with him. Say it again. And all you artists talking about this DJ didn't play my song, so I'm not gonna make it. Can't no one monkey stop no show, man. Right. I ain't played a Kanye West in about three years and he the richest rapper. <laughs> so how the hell are you gonna stop a rapper from making it? So man, just you know, just be cool with your DJs, man. Buy a nigga a little Corona every now and then. Ask him how their family doing, cause we are human beings, my nigga. Yeah. Well, just gonna hand me your motherfucking tape. I don't owe you nothing, nigga. Yeah, you ain't never done nothing for me. Yeah. And the reason I talk like this, cause I've been through that shit. Exactly. So you don't know, it's real though. You, 90% of rappers blame the DJs in their city why they're not making it. Your shit ain't master. Preach. You have too many bars on your shit. <laughs> Girls want to hear the hook and give them eight or twelve bars so they can get back to the hook and sing that motherfucker. But you preaching on that bitch like you're Malcolm X. Nigga, you got to do you make a make a song the way a song's supposed to be. So tonight, I'm gonna mess with my niggas up here cause like drama. You know what I'm saying? I fought with dog. He's doing his thing. I got my nephew Molly in here. This is my real nephew, nigga. Like my sister been living here for a long time. My real nephew, my real nephew in the building, I fought with him to death. That's my young nigga. But I'm gonna help anybody here that we can. All you have to do is just do your stuff to follow the protocol. To follow the protocol. Cause the first nigga get on I uh, IG and hate on the DJ, you can't apologize in private, you gotta apologize on IG. See, niggas love talking about fuck that DJ, and then when he see you talking about everything, no, hell no, nigga. Get back on IG, nigga, apologize on IG, nigga. You feel me? So, I'm going to keep it real with you. You keep it real with me. Keep it fake with me. I'm going to keep it extra fake with you. <laughs> extra fake. You feel me? Like, remember, nigga, I'm an OG. 27 years in the business, nigga. I got more trophies and awards. Just pack everywhere in my goddamn house off this music shit because I eat shit and sleep this music shit. And every, I've been on the road every three weeks out of every month trying to break independent artists that got good music and willing to go to the DJs in your city. Have them play your record and have their opinion on your record. You feel me? Some DJ won't piss on your dreams so if you got a few dollars he'll play that motherfucker. But if ain't nobody dancing your shit ain't no good. Put it back in the oven and come back again. If you can't take constructive criticism, don't ask me shit. You feel me? So tonight, we're going to play a couple of records. And I'm going to mess with the people from here first. Now, this is what I do when I come in the city. 
you introduce yourself, you tell them how they can find your social network, and you rap your song without a microphone. We just play the music. I just watch you do your shit so I can see if you got any type of flavor or something. You know what I'm saying? Niggas might be saving these niggas. <laughs> so I'm going to hold the mic and you just rap your shit like you're shooting a video, nigga. Yeah. And then I can see what you got going on. But this mic ain't going to save you tonight. Because what most of y'all fail to understand when you do a single and you rap over your single, you yell so much over your vocals that nobody know what the hell you saying. Tell me one more time. You said, so sometimes you go to a club and they got 2,000 people. Don't ask to perform. Ask the DJ to play your song and bring it back one or two times. So people can learn the lyrics and get into your shit. You up there jumping up all goddamn night with a Heineken bottle in your hand. <laughs> Nobody know who the fuck you were when they leave out of there, dog. And all you independent artists in, if y'all ain't got each other's shit so you can criticize each other, or just listening in your car, you're an official hater. You're an official hater. If a nigga got a hit and he performing and all you can say, I can kill that shit. Then you're the real hater. So I want y'all to pay attention to what we got going on. I remember, man, I'm gonna be coming through here once a month, fucking with Big Hef, you know, getting this shit together. And I'm gonna help who I can help. I'm like FEMA, everybody gonna get a check, they just ain't gonna be satisfied. <laughs> you feel me? So I just want all of us to just get together and just be a team tonight. Because if any of you motherfuckers was a millionaire, your assistant would have been here today. You wouldn't have been here. You be watching the game out the house with your legs cocked up, nigga. So since you're trying to get this shit, let's all try to get it together. And all these DJs can do is just criticize what you have and give some advice. Just remember, we play records. We play hits. You got to make hits. You the problem, not us. We got a hard drive full of that shit. You feel me? So we're going to start out, my nigga, and we're going to get a couple, you know, we're going to mess with our Cleveland people first.